Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Cleo. Today I will be doing an unboxing of this SFX PSU coming from Lenny, known as the SP850. In this video, I will talk about the build of this PSU, the cables, the uh, structure of it, the wattage and the voltage, and of course, the additional functions. Before I proceed, I'd like to thank Lenny to have provided this unit for me to share with you. Now, there is an event going on at Lienli. If you guys would like to check it out, there is a clip that I'm going to show you. Take note, this clip is not paid to do so. It's just that I'm doing it voluntarily. Let's get into it. Five, four, three, two, one. Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention please? Have you ever wanted a premium ATX case, but the prices are too expensive? You, you come, come to, to the right place, place as Lienli is offering an early access program on this Lienku 216 chassis. Cool. All you need to do is to read the rules and regulations and to fill up a simple, simple form. form. For more information, hit to the URL at the top right hand corner. So why wait? Get a chance to obtain this chassis. And remember, the entry ends on October 12, 2022 at 11.59pm EST. The event on the uh, Lianku 216 chassis itself started not very long ago and the closing date is 12th of October. If you guys want to obtain this case, do check out at their Reddit website and I'll leave the uh, URL in my description so you can click. Do remember to read all the rules and regulations before you apply. Alright, back to this SFX. I have not opened this yet so I do not know what's inside. I will go through with it with you guys first off when you open up the box you will be ushered with a thank you card I believe this are uh, the specification telling you about the wattage the amperage and the curves and the efficiency of the uh, PSU itself these are the uh, PSU screws where you mount to your case. And I believe these bags are all the uh, cables which I will go through with you. And of course, the main row, or should I say the character, is this SFX. These are the cables I've taken out from this bag itself and it's good that they provide a bag. Reason being this power supply is modular so you just plug whatever cable that you need and to keep the rest in the bag and to put them in a safe place so that you won't lose the uh, rest of the uh, cables when you need it in future. I'll start off with this cable. This is the uh, main cable that plugs to your wall outlet and the other end, this end over here, is plugged to your power supply which is over here to provide the power now there are two sections of cable over here one section is all braided one section is not braided I'll start off with the braided cables you're provided with a 24 pin connector which you can see here they are all labelled this is 24 pin then followed by your 8 pin EPS cables where you plug to your motherboard as in like um, the uh, connector at the top left hand corner which is near the VRM of your motherboard this is where it should be plugged sometimes you can plug full 8 pin but most of the motherboard you only need one so all these are labelled next will be these two PCIe connectors for your GPU if you are using a 3060 Ti or maybe 3060 which requires one PCIe 8 pin right you just need to use this if your graphic cards require a 2 8 pin or 3 8 pin connector then there is additional 8 pin connector for you so one end as mentioned to your power supply and you have three over here so you can choose either to plug two on your graphic card or three on your graphic card now do take note that these are meant for 3000 series graphic card Coming to the unbraided cables, you're provided with all these 
SATA cable where you can supply power to your hard disk which is 2.5 SSD or the uh, 3.5 inch hard disk and these cables here are gauged as AWG18 this is the old school Molex same thing AWG18 AWG and this special cable here which is meant for graphic cards like 3090 or maybe the uh, future graphic cards the incoming 4000 series card this is PCIe 5 ready whereby you have to connect two 8 pin to your power supply and this is the uh, 12 pin connector to your 3090 or maybe your 4080 and such but when plugging on this right please take note on the uh, wattage drawn because when you plug this in right the range of the wattage is from 350 to 400 watts and that's it do not plug anything more if you plug anything more right i believe that you might either melt the cables or you melt or you burn the caps on the uh, sfx and for this cable they are slightly thicker which is gauged as awg 16. the build of this power supply is very sturdy there is no wobble no nothing and it's all coated white it's not flat white or glossy white it's in fact matte white and there are some i should say sandblast kind of uh, effect all around and all the description over here the uh, amperage how much each reel like the 12 volt the 5 volt and such and this is a 80 plus gold power supply now some have complained about the black version whereby the slits over here right might cut your finger but as you can see it doesn't cut me this is the right version so i believe this is a better build and there's this nice lenny logo now talking about the uh, size of this power supply from here to here is 100 millimeter from here to here is 125 millimeter and the height of it in fact is 63.5 millimeter from here to here inside this 850 watt power supply it has a 92 mm fan this is a zero rpm fan you only start to rotate when the power supply temperature is at 60 degrees celsius or your system is pulling 40 percent of the current of the power supply and the noise of this fan at its lowest which is 17.1 decibel and the highest is 40.6 decibel besides this other features like over current protection the uh, short circuit protection the overpower protection and the over temperature protection inclusive of inrush current limiter that is built in so that this will add additional safety to your power supply and it has a five-year warranty before i show you the method on how i test power supply using this power supply tester in fact there are two ways one is to use this tester which is more accurate the other one is to use hardware info i forgot to mention that this power supply is built with good quality japanese capacitor they are premium built and another thing that i like to emphasize which is this pcie 5 cable now when you're plugging this right make sure you know the wattage is between 350 to 400 watts so don't assume that you can purchase a 4000 series card and you can just plug the uh, 12 pin like that make sure that you don't overuse the uh, wattage if you do that right you will damage your power supply melt your cables or even damage your graphic card how i make use of this power supply tester in fact i'm going to test the 12 volt reel 3.3 volt reel and the 5 volt reel if it doesn't stay or within the uh, limits itself right it fluctuates and things like that all this will blink and to connect to this unit itself all i need to do is just the way that you fix your pc that is to connect your power source to your power supply and connect your 24 pin your eps cable and your pcie cables these are the three main ones that normally i will test then i'll plug it over here at the other end this is whereby you plug this to your motherboard instead of motherboard you plug it over here this is to test the eps now i do know that this unit itself only allows one eps cable so if you have two right you can what you need to do once you've done the test and you check verify okay switch off the power of the power supply then make sure this is off then unplug it plug the other cable in and to test again let me just show you an illustration 
So basically, I've actually connected the 24 pin, the uh, PCIe um, 8 pin. Though here I plug in 6 pin, but it still does the reading. And the uh, EPS cable. Now I can turn on the power supply. And when I turn on, right, you will hear some beeping. See, as you can see here, all the readings are over here. If anything fluctuates over here, right, this will blink, indicating that, oh, there's some leakage on the cable itself or the power supply is faulty. In such event, turn off the power supply, reconnect, check the connection on the uh, connectors itself and power on again and to check. If it still does that, as in like blinking over here, where you see all these readings are fluctuating, right? Meaning you say your power supply is faulty. Now, on this reading itself, it does tell me all the things that I need to know, like the uh, 12 volt V1 and V2, which is 12.1, 12.1, which is good, because it should be at that limit. Then for the uh, 5 volt SB, not too sure you can see. Now, this is very, very important. Never let it fluctuate, or should I say, if you see anything that fluctuates, right, do not use the power supply at all because this is the main thing that will allow you to turn on your PC. If it fluctuates, then your PC might not start up. Followed by the 5 volt, which is good reading, 5.1, and the 3 volt, 3.3. Now, this is a titanium SFX, which I'm testing right now. It's a 800 watt. I'm going to test on the Lianli itself. I've connected the uh, Lianli power supply accordingly and to be on this tester itself. So when I turn on, you will hear a beep again. And once that's done, right, it will show you all the readings. As I can see, good. The 12 volt reading is 12.1, which is good. The 5 volt SB, which is the standby connector, which I told you is very important. Make sure that this doesn't fluctuate, it's good. Then the 5 volt is good. The 3.3 reel is good, and both the V1 and V2, which is for your EPS, 12.1 volt. Meaning you say this power supply is good. As mentioned to you, if you have additional cables like the EPS cable and the PCIe cables, you will need to switch off this unit first by turning off the power supply. Make sure this doesn't lead up. Then you change the cable and test it. Now, I know the power supply is good. But how about the cables? That's the reason why you need to switch. Because this only allows one at a time. So when you do that, right, you are checking the uh, cables too. If you do not have a physical power supply tester, which I normally use that, that would be 100% uh, sure that my power supply is working fine. You can make use of software too. You need to boot up to Windows and download this three application. The first thing you need to download is the hardware info. This is where you detect all the voltage which i'm going to show you later next will be the cinebench r23 this is to test your cpu um, load or should i say how well it performed but you need not have to do intensive tests it's just a gauge because the main thing is that you want to know the voltage does it fluctuate and of course um, some kind of a gpu stress test which i'm going to use valley now looking on the hardware info itself all you need is just to scroll down and to see under your motherboard section whereby all the readings are listed over here. Now I will take note on the 12 volt, the 5 volt, and that's about all because I can't see the 5 volt SB and 3 volt. I'm not too sure which 3 volt I'm taking, but I assume it's all right because all is 3.3, which is good. Now for the test itself, right? What I'll do is. I'll start off with the um, graphic card test. So I let it run. I let it benchmark. So while you're benchmarking, right? Take note also at the bottom here. Sorry, I've already mentioned. You need to check on the readings over here, which is on your GPU itself. So it's drawing consistent, 12 volt, which is good. This might drop slightly, but it's all right. It's still within the range. If it fluctuates like 11.3, 11, 11 or maybe lower, then I think there's something wrong with the uh, power supply or the connection of your cable to your GPU might be loose. So do check on that. That's part of the reason why I have a physical tester instead of the uh, software um, testing. 
Then for the uh, 12 volt reel over here, right on your motherboard itself, just do a benchmark test. I will just set it 10 minutes and let it run. So when you're doing so, right, oops, when it's running, check under the motherboard section. Look at the 12 volt. This is very important to sustain the uh, whole system. Then check on the 12 volt reading. Now, as I mentioned to you, the hardware tester, right, I should say the power supply tester is more accurate because on software itself, right, it normally hovers at 4.9 for some reason. I wouldn't know why. But don't let this drop to 4.5 or 4 or 3 or so. So take note on this. Same goes to the 12 volt. There you have it. I've shared with you how I test the uh, power supply using the physical power supply tester and software like Hardware Info and the two benchmark application that I run at the background while I check on the voltage itself. Now, today's content is mainly on showing you guys the uh, new SFX power supply coming from Lenny and it's the first PCIe 5 with a 12 pin connector to plug to your 3090s directly or maybe to some of the uh, 40s, 60s, 40s, 80s. Hope you guys have actually enjoyed. Don't forget there is an event from Lianli known as the Early Assess of the Lianku 216. So if you want to take part, I will leave this URL in my description. You can just click on it and follow the instructions and to fill up the form. Now, for those of you who are actually new to my channel, welcome to my channel. And if you like my content, do remember to click on the subscription and to click on the notification bell button. Till then, take care. Goodbye. See ya.